hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today we're gonna be looking at wallows so for you guys who don't already know um wallows is a subscription or payment tracker um so basically it helps you to keep track of any recurring or uh, payments that you might need to keep an eye on um, I will be showing you how to install it and set it up on Casa OS using Docker. Um, then we will uh, set up a few subscriptions and uh, look around. That's the main goal for this video. Um, so you guys remember uh, in my last video that uh, we installed uh, the Casa YouTube uh, container. Uh, so for you guys who haven't seen this video, you can go back uh, in my videos and uh, find it. And also, I'm going to probably leave a, a link, if YouTube allows me to, in the description below for you guys to be able to click on it and uh, go and uh, check it out. All right. So without a further ado guys uh the casa os that we installed is of course uh running as uh you guys were able to see in the last video we were able to install the memos application um and guys as you guys know uh casa os is very simple to use and very easy and you can uh, use it as a learning platform for docker where you basically install things using the GUI and then uh, in time, you know, get familiar with the command line and uh, start digging through from there. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the customized app through the casa os and we're gonna go through like so so in casa os you have multiple ways of installing applications uh, you can basically go to the app store or you can install a customized app this is an equivalent of just running your you know going in the back end and doing your docker compose or your docker run um, in our case what we're going to do is that we're going to add a docker compose over here uh, for the wall os and we're going to be running that um, there is a tool uh, if you don't have the docker compose for a certain docker uh, that you want to install uh, there is this website here uh, composerize.com where you basically give it a docker um, a docker run command and then it's going to churn out a docker compose uh, file for you so this is something that you guys um, need to be aware of just in case if you go install a docker um, uh, it's a docker application but you don't quite find the docker compose um, so if you go back to casa os uh, this is what we're going to be doing so before uh, we go any further guys you can see here that while is basically open source uh, self-hostable and it's designed to empower you in uh, managing your finances uh, so these are some of the features subscription management category management multi-currency support currency conversion data privacy uh and a whole other th things we can do and in this video we're going to be able to discover all of those things and uh, go through and uh, take a look um all right so from here uh we'll go to the website uh, i'm going to be putting this website in the uh, either in the comment uh, or in uh, the description um, we're going to scroll down and look for docker compose and we're going to copy this part of the um, website here and we're going to go back to casa os uh, paste that in um, and submit and of course there's going to be a little bit of a warning here and you can read it says in addition to configuration recognized uh, by the import we also uh, need the following information the port 
the location, the directory, the port mapping from the host container, and other information, other uh, optional configurations. This is fine. I'm going to explain that to you. Um, so if you're familiar a little bit with Docker, you know uh, your Docker image where you would put basically your source here. This is the tag. Uh, we'll leave it as uh, default. And the title is going to be your app name. And in our case, it's going to be well OS. Um, so like so. Um, and then the icon. Uh, if you have a URL, you can add that there, uh, but in my case, it's not necessary. This is the port mapping, so the container port and the host port. Uh, this is basically, uh, if you know Docker, you know what this means. So you have to make sure that all of these two are um, defined correctly. And make sure that no, nothing else is using this port. And so on, on the, this IP and uh, nothing is using this port. Um, so the volumes, so you see here it says .db and the uh, .logos. So what we need to do is to go uh, map and uh, map this um, file path here and make sure it's in the correct place. So what we're going to do is go here, click on this little icon here. And basically uh, everything uh, we're going to be basically putting it in the data folder. So in data and app data, and we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it wallOS, submit, and then we're going to select it like so. Um, yes, so of course, here it's going to be slash db, and then we're going to change the logo path basically to the same folder um, logos. And the time zone is correct for me. Um, I'm not going to run it with privileges. Um, I'm going to leave that as is. And then the container name is good. Um, I'm going to have to put this back on here. I'm going to just remove a couple of words. So that's the app name and let's install it. So this should go through smoothly. It's going to pull the container and install it and everything should run. Um, and of course, if you guys run into any problems, always uh, try to investigate it. There's always something going on. Um, if you're familiar with uh, Casa OS, you know that you can go to settings and you have access to the terminal and the logs um, so we can see uh, what's going on. Everything went through successfully. Um, now we can click on this to open it. Okay, yeah, so this is something um, that I have to mention. Uh, so the reason why it opened the same page, actually let me close it and go back, um, is because we didn't define uh, the actual web UI URL. So we're going to select the port here. So it's going to be the IP and that port. It's going to do a reboot. Give it a few seconds. Now, if we open it, uh -huh, here, here we go. So we're going to basically define the username. For me, it's going to be YouTube. I don't know if the email is necessary. I'm going to leave it and see what happens here and the currency is going to be USD and let's register and see what happens. Okay. Of course the email is necessary. Give me one second. So so we're going to give it admin at example.com. Um, just for the to log in. So let me log in here. And as you guys can see, we're logged in and uh, everything looks as it should. 
So you can see your username here. We have a few things that we can look at here. And you see, we can add our first subscription. Um, so to do so, it's very simple. Just click on the add first subscription button here. Um, this is my favorite feature of WallOS uh, is that um, you basically uh, just look for either upload the logo or look for one so if we click um let me see here so if we enter netflix i think we can search for it from the web here and as you can see we have a few logos that pop up and you can choose either one that you like so let's say that i have my netflix cost me let's say 20 dollars a month every month the next payment is going to be i don't know the first of june and i let's say i pay using paypal paid by me youtube this is your username and this should be like your name name and this can be the url of uh, netflix so we can actually just do that and hit OK. So now that we've saved it, you can see here that it saved uh, the first subscription. Now let's add a few more subscriptions. So we have a few subscriptions already added. Um, and you can see guys is very so if you have a lot of things here I only added basically my online subscriptions, but you can add any online bill you can add your electricity bill your internet bill your any type of thing that you have to pay uh, If it's recurrent even if it's just a one time you can add it here. It's uh, very straightforward now, now we have a couple of uh, payments here that I added. Uh, this is only for as an example. And as you can see, we can look at statistics. You can see I have five active subscriptions. They cost me this much a month. And this is what I pay for a year. And this is the average, the most expensive uh, amount due this month, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see you have a split view. What am I paying with PayPal? What am I paying with Google Play, uh, Google Pay? And also, guys, let's say you had a, uh, you know, a Visa and a MasterCard. All of those things would add up here. Uh, Union Pay or anything like that. Everything would add up here and you have a very complete picture of all of your payments. Um, so this, uh, is how you install it. Uh, before I close out the video guys, um, I want to, to you guys to know that, uh, this is very powerful. If you use it correctly, it can save you a lot of headache and time on like basically remembering, uh, what type of payments that are due when, what's the link, you know, when you have a lot of uh, subscriptions, uh, this is going to be able to help you and um help you remember um so the other thing that i wanted to tell you guys about is that the web ui is very um it's very responsive here and uh, i think there is even a way to get the mobile view uh, you can go through the settings uh you can add multiple households now this is actually very important let's say your spouse and you have different payments that are coming you can say okay i have netflix and this is my uh, uh this is being paid by my spouse or this is being paid by me so you can add multiple um um household members and you can add an email integration for notifications a day before etc so it's very powerful all of the categories can be redefined you can add more categories more currencies and there is even a way uh, for you to add an api key from fixer to make sure that the currencies are always up to date let's say you have a payment that you pay in euros another one in canadian dollars or usd or australian dollars this is going to make it uh, 
basically uh, it's gonna it's gonna help to make sure that the amounts are always correct and up to date so this is very powerful guys um so i wanted you guys to i wanted to share this with you uh because it's very powerful um guys uh i'm starting this youtube channel uh just to see uh, if I can help some of you guys out that are starting uh, in doing your own home labs and things like that. So please subscribe and share my videos and uh, hopefully we help someone. Yeah, that's uh, it for my uh, uh, video on Wallos or Wallos. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.